bass market. These guys are all our bass fishing team. Um, so we also do have some mag seal products that are really good for salt water. And some of the mag seal, hopefully you guys have heard about it. We, we have the prevent corrosion inside the reel. We've actually brought it in some of the freshwater reels now for brackish water conditions. We have a demo up front. If you guys haven't seen it, please uh, go by and see the tech center, which we will demonstrate the mag seal uh, system and how it works. And uh, it's, so it's also very good for salt water. And we also have uh, salt water products like the Saltiga that is newly designed with these mag seal bearings in it and spinning and both uh, conventional. And we have some more saltwater products too. So it's not only about the fresh water, it's about saltwater as well. Just don't want you guys to hear about that. But today we're here to talk about the bass fishing. Um, this is my my uh, elite I'm team, sorry. except for Cody, he's a tour, FLW tour guy. Right here. Yep, that's the guy. I fish hang fish out with him a little fish bit. Fish I hang fish out fish with him a little bit. Well. <laughs> These are the guys, I call them my hard testers. These are the guys that I give the product to first before it comes down the market. Uh, we do project team videos we've done in the past, but these guys test the product out. They make sure this product is ready to go before it hits the market. It works, it does what it's supposed to do. Um, if you guys uh, have any questions, ask these guys, ask them to demonstrate or prove it to you, because we can prove our product works. And that's what these guys make sure of. We've, we've got uh, rods in the field now. Um, Brent's got some rods he's even working on. He's had three rods and we tell him, hey, pick one that's good and then let's fix it from there and he'll tell me, okay, it's great, let's bring it to market. So all these guys are testing our products, making sure the axes are good. We've gone back and revised some of our axes to make them even better. And uh, that's what these guys will talk about, some of the different products that we have in the bass fishing and how they apply to what they do in their everyday fishing and how they give them an advantage on the water. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with Ish. I'll just, let me, let me just introduce them real quickly so you know who they are. Ish Monroe. Um, elite fisherman, uh, FLW tour, and major league fishing. He does it all. If we want something tested in a hurry, we give it to Gish because he's always out fishing somewhere and tries to break stuff. So he's a very good person for that. Randy Howell, of course, best master at Classic Champion. Cody Meyer, he's the FLW, FLW tour pro. Uh, he's very consistent. He's been on the uh, Champions last five years. Uh, seven. Seven years, okay, sorry. I'm kind of Ooh. saying uh, Tosh, uh, like won the classic. <laughs> we did a real good job last year. We almost did it again. I thought she was going to do it. Uh, Marizo is on our staff as well with, uh, with the reels. Um, Seth, Seth Fighter is a new guy for us. Uh, he came on board the hard way. He started working as a pro staff, worked his way up to the elites. And he's fishing the elites his first year. He's doing a very good job for us, and I, I think he's going to uh, continue to do really, really good things. Brent Heights, new guy for us. We brought him on for reels. He's also with Evergreen that we're distributing the lures now, and so is Marizo. Um, of course, uh, Brent Ehler uh, has had a, this is his first year on the elites. I don't know if you can really call him a rookie, because <laughs> he's, uh, he's leading, I think you're leading in the rookie of the year race, is that right? And he's like fifth, fifth for end of the year. So he's awesome, he's, doing a, he's having a great year, and he's gonna continue to do that. And Andy Montgomery is uh, one of our lead pros as well, and uh, he's won one last year. So these are the guys, and they can tell you more about our products. Ish. How you folks doing? You guys enjoying this? I I'm going to start out with, it doesn't start with the pros. It starts with our designers that we have. Takeshi and York are two of the finest designers that I think are in the industry right now. These guys design this product. But before they design the product, they do make phone calls to us and they ask us, what do we want, what, do we, what, what are we looking for in products? For me, I'm about the big rods. I'm about the eight foot flipping sticks, I'm about the frog rods, I'm about high intensity, braid, I am about strong and durability for me is, is, is key. So I tell these guys, I need one that I'm gonna be able to set the hook hard, I'm not gonna break the rod, I wanna be able to fish my braided line with a frog and catch five to eight pounders like we all wish we could do. We get through the great designers, it comes to us. So before you guys ever even see the product, we get three or four different samples to test out. And sometimes those samples aren't even right. And we go back and we tell them, hey, I like A, I like this about A, I like this about B, I like this about C, and then combining it. And then once that's all done, 
the guys take it back to the drawing board and then they put it together and you come up with a complete package. This eight foot flipping stick that the AG, new AGS, these AGS is the best flipping rod on the market. I have not flipped with anything like this. I used to sleep with this rod when I first got them because they're so amazing. It's light, it's sensitive, it's durable. Um, I just actually shot a show for Bass Pro. The Bass Pros uh, caught 27 pounds in about four hours, swung every single fish, including a six and a seven pounder in the boat and had no problems with my equipment. The new Zillion Reel that they've come out with, 15 pounds of drag. That's even stronger than what we've had before, so I get a complete lockdown on drag. I'm one of those guys, like I said, I fish 65 pound maximum braid. I lock the drag down. I don't want zero slip. And so now with 15 pounds of drag in this new Zillion, it's definitely going to do the job for me. And then the new 100 millimeter handle, you guys seen it on TV before, setting hook hard and winching these big fish in. This new 100 millimeter handle is the ultimate handle for this reel right here so folks i can't tell you anything else about it you just have to put it in your hands for yourself and uh, enjoy the ride good job ish ish is the man he helps him get some good stuff for us and then he passes it down to me when he gives it to me i know it works good that's the one thing we like then i pass it down to Cutter and talking hero we, we all work good together but but uh, like he said before we've got great design guys here when i when i come on board with iowa about six years ago now, probably six or seven years ago, they were really still focused on the saltwater market. Little by little, they've moved more into the bass market again to re retake that bass market over again. And as Kurt, Kurt Arakawa has come on board, and Kurt was back with Iowa back in, back in the good, you remember the good old days back when they had the old, uh, you know, Brower and, uh, and uh, yeah, the old original team, Jay Ellis and George Cochran, all those guys when they, when nobody, only Rod Reel you saw back in the day when I was, when I was Cody's age, it was, was uh, not, not quite when I was Seth's age, maybe when I was Seth's age, everybody wanted to have a dial and everybody wanted to be on the dial with team. And I could never be on the dial with team all those years trying it. So when, when Kurt's come back here now and he's gotten the pro staff built back up with some great quality anglers from, from rookie age all the way up to the older guys. And man, we, we're working good together. And, and uh, they send us the rods and reels. We get together and we have a lot of little powwows at lakes and videos and do things like that. But the little bitty stuff like Ish was saying, like on my little crankbait rods, uh, the seven foot medium light Tatula rod, which was a $150 retail rod. That rod, is that whole Tatula line has come out and really just swept over the bass market now in that price point because it's high quality and it's lightweight and you know and it holds up and and so they took that same uh, detail you know attention to detail put it in the zillion line and we've, we've got a zillion rod now in my seven foot medium light which is a was a shorter handle little bitty stuff you know they listen to all of us all of us have our own little little stuff that we're comfortable with because we've all had custom-made rods in the years past that were fit to our style just right and that's what i was done they're making a custom rod for every action and every model so if you like a seven foot even or seven foot one or seven foot two or seven eleven they've got everything to fit your needs in the zillion lineup and the tattoo lineup and now for even uh even lower price we've got the the uh new tattoo xt rod which is going to be about 110 dollar retail rod it's got the same quality it's got the cool look it's black and white so you can kind of pick it out of the lineup it's got the same uh, attention to detail. It looks like a zillion rod, but it's a $110 rod and still has the same high mileage as graphite. So check out all the different actions and the reels. We've got so many great things, you know, in, in, in the price point that is really selling big right now. And the dealers have a good profit margin, and it's great for all of us. So we appreciate y'all's support, and um, keep watching out for all the stuff that's going to coming soon from Japan, right? Sounds good. Well, this reel here, if you know anything about me, I love fishing finesse gear. And this uh, this combo here, I've been fishing all year. This is the Steez AGS rod and uh, the new Daiwa Exist spinning reel. And this year, it's all about the mag seal. And this reel here, we have uh, two mag seal bearings on each side of the gear shaft and uh, a mag seal line roller and a main shaft. What the mag seal is, Kurt kind of touched on it earlier. It's a magnetic oil that bridges the gaps between the inner and outer bearing races, which is going to keep the elements out. So if you buy this reel and you're you know, a bass angler like myself, you can fish it there. You can take it into salt water. And uh, no elements are going to get in this reel. This reel is going to have longevity and it's going to be super smooth. We make three different sizes in this exist. Uh, 13 total bearings. The bearings that are in here, along with the Maxfield, are corrosion resistant ball bearings. 
they last up to 12 times longer. So again, you're gonna buy this reel, it's gonna have a lot of longevity in it, it's super smooth, it's got a Zion body with an aluminum body cover, uh, a new forged aluminum screw-in handle, and again, this is gonna come in three different sizes. So if you like a bigger spinning reel, a smaller spinning reel, or uh, the medium. And also what I like about this exists, it picks up a lot of line. So let's say you make a long cast out there, uh, this wheel picks up 33 inches of line per crank, which is you know a big help when you're finesse fishing, you've got a lot of line out there to set the hook. Uh, paired up with this AGS Steez rod, I mean, this rod is truly unbelievable. You know, I've been finesse fishing for a long time. This is by far the best rod on the market. A couple things about it, it's got the, the, um, the carbon fiber guides with the titanium insert. These guides are super tough, and what's good about them is they're gonna translate any small bite, rock, any kind of you know detail when you're, when you're going across the bottom. Again, they have a titanium insert. They're super strong guides. Uh, Steez has the SVF uh, graphite in here, which is gonna be more fibers, less resin, more sensitive rod with uh, a lighter weight. Also, the X45 construction, it's gonna be an X45 wrap going up the rod, which uh, is gonna have more flexibility, it's gonna be stronger, and less twist on the rod, so you're gonna make a more accurate cast. Again, if you like finesse fishing like I do, this is the best combo on the market. Uh, truly the finest spinning reel to exist. Make sure you guys check it out. I know you'll love it like I do. We're gonna talk about today uh, the 9.1 gear ratio. Uh, this is a 299 uh, zero. The reason I like this one because uh, you know the way I like fish fish shallow, then I pitch my jig, I hop twice. I want to get all my slack line. 9.1, you don't waste too much time. So, end of the day, you have more pitches. And not just that, uh, if you hook the fish, when they jump, you can catch slack line so quick, so you don't lose very many fish. And a uh, lot of good reason, not just burning whatever, you know, crankbait, bass bait, whatever you want to, you know, burn a bait, 9.1. And uh, I always, always want to have high speed gear, big gas in here. The reason, because the efficiency, you know, you don't waste too much time. Uh, just think about it. If you pitch a jig, then, you know, if you fish in shallow water, then just fish around so quick. You know, you want to catch up to have a good hook set. 9.1, you know, that works. So, uh, Today, I just want to say that that's it, but a 9.1, that's going to help for fishing day in, day out. Any question away? 9.1, you got to remember, 9.1, <laughs> okay? That's it. I can translate if anybody needs me to translate. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I need to trust it. Yes. I'm on English. I'm on English. The new exist reel is the best dial reel on the market. Smoothest drag on the market. Ultra light, super sensitive. That's all. <laughs> Very affordable price for everyone. <laughs> okay, that's all. Thank you. <laughs> hey guys, I'm, I'm going to go over the Tatula lineup. This isn't anything uh, brand new for this year, but it's a really innovative and a really high quality product at a great price point. Um, the Tatula rods are under $150, so same with the Tatula reels. It's a all aluminum frame, all aluminum side plate, super rigid, no flex whatsoever. Has the T-wing system in it. Uh, gives you great long casts, less uh, resistance on the line, also get less uh, burdenness with it. And uh, the unsanded blanks in the Tatula make them lighter uh, and uh, more durable too. There's no bad spots in the blank whatsoever. And uh, this is actually my jerkbait setup. I do a lot of jerkbait fishing with this combo. It's a seven foot medium moderate. It's got a, a real nice action for fishing jerkbaits. You don't lose a lot of fish on them at all. And uh, just a great price point product for uh, super high quality. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Um, everyone knows Dio has the greatest high end stuff, but 
They have really good stuff down at a more reasonable price too. Check them out. Thanks. Uh, you know, I'm going to uh, talk to you again about the Exist Reel. I, I've been fortunate to use it all the way at the beginning of the year at the Bassmasters Classic. I've been using it all uh, all this year. and. Everyone knows uh, Daiwa makes the best spinning reels on the market, all the way from their low end, all the way to the high end. Um, I've been using Steve's spinning reels, uh, you know, for the last six or seven years, and just the durability. I, I literally uh, never, never sent them in anything, not not to get clean, looped uh, for seven years, and my Steve still worked. Uh, and now they've actually made a reel better with the Exist, just with the Mag Seal technology. It's also in the uh, the roller bearing, um, which is a big thing. You know, we're always getting whether it's uh, you know corrosion or you know maybe some uh, debris from grass or anything in there. So that really uh, keeps that roller bearing smooth all the time. And obviously, with the mag seal on both sides of the of the gear, um, you know, I I think. Uh, you know, if I, if I didn't have to service my steez for seven years, this thing might last 15 without ever having me service. So, uh, again, that one makes the best spin reels on the market. Uh, if you don't believe so, put one in your hand, and I, I guarantee you're going to love it. So, again, that exists in all three sizes, the 1,000, 2,500, and the 3,000. Uh, you can find one that will fit your needs. Thank you. Hey everyone, I'm Brent Ayler, and uh, I've been fortunate to be with Daiwa now for two years. And uh, I've actually used, uh, kind of privately, secretly used a lot of Daiwa stuff for you know, a number of years longer than that. And uh, you know, for a long time, they've always been the you know, premier on the high-end stuff. Uh, it, it's, you know, they've, they've always made the best you know, in the market for the high-end stuff. And finally, they came out with some really good, you know, uh, lower end models and, and you know Seth talked about it the Tattoola series and I know that uh, Randy talked about it as well uh, it's an unbelievable line uh, but you know touching base on the the premier stuff the ski series this is something that uh, you know everyone in the market everyone in the industry walks around and looks at the ski stuff as being kind of the the holy grail and the, the rod and reel setups are unbelievable now they've been getting better each year now with with this new setup of the AGS guides, the air you know the air guide system, which is a carbon fiber guide uh, on this rod, makes the rod so much more sensitive, and, and not only sensitive, the sensitivity on the on the very top portion of the rod, the very tip of the rod. Anytime you decrease weight up there, you're going to increase sensitivity. But by adding those guides on there, you're going to increase even more sensitivity with the, with the carbon fiber in there. Uh, the reel that I have here is the new Steez SV. Uh, I've been fortunate to use this reel for a couple months now. Uh, it has a shallower spool. Now what the shallower spool is going to do is it's going to allow you to cast lighter baits. There's also uh, different uh, brake systems in there. I'm not going to get into the technical part because I don't know much about it. But uh, I do know that you can cast lighter baits a lot farther by having this brake system in there and the shallow spool. The nice thing about the shallow spool is you don't have to put a bunch of backing on there before you put your top line on. By doing that, it decreases the weight around that spool and allows you to make more efficient casts. And when I mean casting you know, smaller baits farther, I can literally take a bait that weighs a quarter ounce or lighter and cast it farther with this reel that I can take a half ounce weight with another reel. So it's an unbelievable setup. Put these two together. If you pick up this setup right here, the first thing you're going to notice is how light it is. So light, throwing small baits, it's an unbelievable setup. And the cleanup, what these guys mess up. But as good a fisherman they are, they're even better promoters. So uh, uh, going to rain on Marizo's parade a little bit. He pulled up to me at a major league fishing event last year and said, where do I go, Andy? I said, what'd you say, Maurice? He said, where do I go? I said, I thought you couldn't speak English, Marizo. So we sat there and had a conversation in English with Marizo. So if you catch him off by himself, he can speak pretty good <laughs> can speak pretty good English, y'all. Uh, these guys have done touched on about all of our all of our new product. Uh, again, just to reiter reiterate what they said, right after the classic, the Monday after the classic, we just fished the classic in brutal conditions. We was back out on Hartwell the Monday after testing these products. They had three of uh, the new Tatula XT rods for me to test. Uh, 
dock fishing. Dock fishing is what I like to do, what I like to uh, skip dock. So uh, didn't catch a single fish off of a dock the entire classic. First dock I fished the Monday after the classic with the Tula XT. I caught, a three, I caught one about three pounds. So uh, uh, went through three rods. I come up with the, the one that I like the best in the Tula XT series for skipping dots. It's a 701, medium heavy. That's what fits me. Um, and a hundred dollar price point. You can't beat that. The light rod, super sensitive rod, hundred dollar price point. Uh, you know, it can fit any guy, just the weekend angler, the guy that only fishes 10 or 15 times a year. He can have great equipment, low price point, and, uh, you know, hopefully catch fish like some of these guys do. So, uh, thank all y'all for coming. I don't know if Kurt wants to wrap it up or, uh, uh, but thank y'all for coming.